So, this is game three of the final of the Wakefield Regional. And this will be the game that decides whether me or Alex will be the regional champion. So it was quite a dominant first game, very intense second game, and then the third game, I'm still recovering from the second one. So, in this game, I figure that his Bronzong was doing nothing. So I actually think he's going to bring his Kyogre in the matchup. I didn't know whether he would lead with it or not, but I did expect Kyogre to be coming along. So I end up bringing Raichu instead. And I lead Raichu because it was good against his Talonflame, which he was very likely to be doing. So I'm going to lead off with my Raichu and Kyogre. And he is going to lead off with his Talonflame and Kyogre. So bringing Raichu as a lead was absolutely amazing for me because I threatened the knockout on either one of his Pokemon. So we're going to go through all the primary versions because that's what we have to do. So the Kyogre is threatened by a probable one-shot onto it from the Raichu. So I am actually going to expect it to switch out into the Groudon to take the Volt Tackle and to do nothing and to get up the Tailwind with his Talonflame. So I am actually going to make a good prediction for this game after the dreadful start to the game two. I'm going to predict the switch out into the Groudon and I'm going to Ice Beam it with my Kyogre. Now, again, I've forgotten about Airlock. What a time to forget it, right? In the first game, I was using it against him by not switching it in. But then game two and game three, I have just utterly blanked on it. Like, if I expected him to Tailwind, I should have switched out the Raichu and was spouted. And then again, I win straight away. He goes to the Brave Bird instead of the Tailwind. And it does a huge amount to Kyogre. But... Given the HP it survives on, it should theoretically still knock out this Groudon with a Water Spout. So switching into Rayquaza should have got the double knockout there. But I am actually going to Volt Tackle into the Talonflame. Easy knockout. And I am actually going to Ice Beam into what was the Kyogre. So it was a good prediction, but not the correct play for the prediction that I... Well, the play that I predicted. So Ice Beam onto Groudon. It is some nice damage. It looks like it's not quite a three-hit KO, so it's probably quite specially bulky. He's going to bring in his Marwile here as well. Now, here I could have switched out into Rayquaza and gone for the Scald, but then Sucker Punch is threatening my Kyogre, so I have to switch out my Kyogre. Could have protected it, but then Raichu's not really doing anything. And Sizzle comes in. He's going to Mega Revolve his Marwile. Switching out Kyogre also resets the weather to avoid Sucker Punch, so it made more sense than just leaving in and protecting. But here, I definitely should have double switched because I was going to avoid the Sucker Punch, and he was obviously going to press his blades. So I don't know why I didn't switch him Rayquaza into the Raichu slot as well. So that was definitely a mistake that was going to put me back way in the match, because he hits the press his blades, and it knocks out my Raichu. So now my guarantee, or pretty much guaranteed one shot on his Kyogre is gone, which is really bad for me. I, like the, yeah, I really should have switched out into Rayquaza there, looking back. So now I bring it in, so I've just sacked my Raichu for no reason. Like, for a tiny bit of chip on Marl, even though I could just overheat it for the KO whenever I want. So that Bolt Tackle was definitely a waste. So here, he's going to switch out his Marl into his Kyogre. Fearing the overheat, because I have revealed overheat on my Rayquaza, which was good play. But I am actually going to predict the switch out from Marl and double up onto the Groudon. Which probably wasn't the best play, because Bullet Punch wouldn't have done really anything. I should have gone for the Sword Stance if I was predicting the switch out from the Marl. But he is actually going to protect his Groudon, which well, I got half of the prediction right. But then he covers the switch very nicely and just absorbs my Bullet Punch and my Dragon's Ascent. So I don't do anything that turn and he's just got into a great position. So now he's going to switch out his Groudon back into his Marwell to take any kind of Dragon's Ascent that wants to come in. But I am actually going to be able to predict it somewhat and protect my Rayquaza from the Ice Beam from the Kyogre. And I am going to go for the Sword Stance with my Sizzle, which actually brings back quite a lot of momentum to me. Because now I threaten the one shot onto this Marwar. But because my Kyogre is so weak in the back, it's not actually as good a position as it could be. So I'm going to Bullet Punch the Marwar. And because he's a Trick from Kyogre, I am expecting him to survive the Dragon's Ascent. So theoretically what would happen is I Dragon's Ascent onto the Kyogre. I don't pick up the Knockout because it was built to survive. And he's going to Ice Beam my Rayquaza for the knockout because I'd have dropped my defenses. Then my weakened Kyogre would have come in and I would have had a Scizor at plus two. Was it plus one for the Marwile Intimidate? I think it was plus two. Let's assume plus two. Um, and Kyogre would have come in. I would have been faster than both his with my Kyogre. But his Kyogre would have been on the tiniest bit of health. Scizor would have been able to pick up the KO with a Bullet Punch. But it would have just come down 
to whether he protected his Kyogre or not, and I doubled up onto Kyo onto the Groudon with a Bullet Punch and Ice Beam, but that still wouldn't be able to knock it out. So really, all that all that would have to happen is for Alex to hit his Precipice Blades against my Kyogre, and he's going to win. But retribution for London, I guess, from all the bad luck I got there. I actually pick up a critical hit onto the Kyogre. So there we go. That's game over because Groudon can't survive another Dragon's Ascent and the Bullet Punch. I didn't actually realize the significance of the critical hit at the time because for some reason I thought that my rain would go up. I don't know why and that is probably why if you're watching Alex I reacted in the way I did so I just want to apologize for my reaction to the critical hit. So I didn't actually realize, like you can see in my interview afterwards that I didn't realize how big the critical hit was so my mind was just not in the right place. So, really, he should have won this regional. That critical hit was huge. He just had to hit a Precipice Blades afterwards. But, there we go. Dragon's Ascent and Bullet Punch is able to knock out this Groudon. So I do actually walk home with the regional championship. Awesome, awesome set. Especially game two. But it is really a shame that it did come down to a critical hit deciding it. But, there we go. Togetic has now won a regional as well which I used in one of one game of the whole series, but you know, Togotic is now a regional champion, that's pretty cool. And Alex is like top of the CP ladder now as well, so he didn't need that 15 CP. <laughs> no, he, 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 I would say he probably deserved the final, but there we go, critical hit. I'm a regional champion now, I'll take that. Thanks for watching.